Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the classification of ratios. Ratios are broadly classified into four categories. Liquidity ratio, solvency ratio, activity or turnover ratio, last one profitability ratio. So liquidity ratio means the ratios which explain about uh, the ability of the business to pay the current obligations on time. So every business must have sufficient funds to pay the current liabilities. The current liabilities will be paid from current assets. So we have to find out what is the relationship between current assets and current liability. So in this video, I am going to explain you the first ratio, liquidity ratio. In examination, three things are asked. The first thing, the meaning of the term liquidity ratio. Secondly, what is the formulas for calculating different liquidity ratio? And thirdly, we have to give the interpretation on the ratios calculated. So if you want the perfect knowledge on this topic of financial statement analysis and particularly ratio analysis, so watch all the videos from beginning till end. Already three videos I have already uploaded on this topic of financial statement analysis. So if you have not watched, go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject accounting for management. Select the videos financial statement analysis. Watch all the videos. Be perfect regarding the meaning of the term ratios, importance of ratios, need for calculating and then classification. So before explaining the liquidity ratio, take the screenshot of the points which I have written. Then I'll explain all the points regarding liquidity ratios. Now, liquidity ratios are those ratios which explain the liquidity position of the business. Whether the business can be able to pay the current liabilities on time or not. That is called liquidity ratio. The first liquidity ratio is current ratio. The current ratio shows the relationship between current assets and current liabilities. It is the ratio of current assets by current liabilities. So what does it, this current assets by current liability means for every one unit of current liability, how many units of current assets are there? So denominator we are taking current liability, numerator current assets. Suppose the current assets are 4 lakh and the current liability is 1 lakh. That means for every 1 rupee of current liability, we have 4 rupees of current assets. Current assets are 4 times of current liability. That is the meaning. This ratio makes the relationship between current assets and current liability. And it is also called working capital ratio. It is called current ratio or it is called ratio of working capital. Then current ratio indicates the amount of current assets available for paying the current liability. So if the, if the business wants to have a good liquidity position, then always the current assets should be more than current liability. So always because current liabilities are paid from current assets. So naturally current assets should be more than current liability. The standard current ratio is 2 is to 1. As a rule of thumb, we can say the, current, the standard current ratio should be 2 is to 1. That means the current assets should be double the current liability. Example, if you have 1 lakh rupees of current liability, you must have at least 2 lakh rupees of current assets. Similarly, if you have 2 lakh rupees of current liability, you must have 4 lakh rupees of current assets. So normal rule of thumb, it is not a must that every business must have current ratio of 2 is to 1. It's not like that. The business conditions may change. The nature of business may change. But normally we can say the current assets should be double the current liability. That's why 2 is to 1, which is considered as rule of thumb for the purpose of interpretation of ratio. If the current ratio is greater than or equal to 2, then the firm is said to have a good liquidity position. So we can give the interpretation in the coming problems like this. If the current ratio is more than 2 is to 1, then we can say the liquidity position of the business is good. 
the business can be able to pay all current obligations on time. No difficulty in making the payment of current liabilities if the current ratio is 2 or more than 2. Similarly, if the current ratio is less than 2, then it is considered the liquidity position is not satisfactory. So when you calculate the liquidity ratio, if it happens to be less than 2, then that means the business liquidity position is not satisfactory, not good. Then, however, if the current ratio is more than 3, then also it is not better for the firm. It means that the firm is having excessive current assets. That means too much of current assets is also not good. For example, if your current liability is only 1 lakh, but you are keeping nearly 5 lakh rupees current assets, it's not advisable. It's not prudent. Why we are keeping excessive current assets? When you are having 1 lakh rupees of current liability, you have to keep only 2 lakh or 2.5 lakh. That is enough. But if you keep more than 3, if the current ratio is 3 is to 1 or more than 3 is to 1, it indicates that the business cannot be able to properly utilize the current assets. Excessive current assets the business is holding. It is not advisable. Only that much which is required to pay the current liability. So excessive more than 3 is also not good. Now the second, the second liquidity ratio is liquid ratio. This ratio is also called as quick ratio or acid test ratio. So three names are there. Liquid ratio, quick ratio or acid test ratio. All the three mean same. So this ratio explains the relationship between liquid assets and current liability. Liquid assets you can say or quick assets you can say. So quick assets to current liability. That ratio is given by liquid ratio. Liquid ratio is defined as the ratio between liquid assets and current liability. Liquid assets means quick assets. Now the standard quick ratio is 1 is to 1. Here the standard current ratio is 2 is to 1. But the standard liquid ratio is 1 is to 1. That means for every 1 rupee of current liability, the business must have at least 1 rupee of quick assets or liquid assets. So 1 rupee liquid assets, 1 rupee current liability, it's okay. That is ideal one. Huh, if the liquid ratio is less than 1, that means the ratio comes to 0 0.6 is to 1, 0 0.7 is to 1, then we can say the liquidity position is not good. Huh, if it is more than 1, just like 1.5 is to 1, 1 1.8 is to 1, that is good. The so minimum 1 should be kept. The so standard ratio is 1 is to 1, which will be taken as a thumb rule for interpreting the ratios. A high liquid ratio indicates that the firm has enough liquid assets to meet current level. So, when we calculate liquid ratio, if it, is, if it happens to be more than 1, this indicates that the business has sufficient liquid assets to pay the current liabilities. So, every and a creditor will come forward to supply the goods. The banker will come forward to supply short term loans because the current uh, I mean, liquid ratio of the business is good. The formula for liquid ratio is quick ratio or we can say liquid ratio, both mean same. So quick assets by current liability. So the new point is quick assets. What do you mean by quick assets? Quick assets or liquid assets is equal to current assets minus stock minus prepaid expenses. From the total current assets, deduct two assets, that is stock and prepaid expenses. If you deduct stock and prepaid expenses from current assets, the remaining assets is called quick asset or liquid asset. A quick ratio of 1 is usually considered ideal. A quick ratio of less than 1 is indicative of inadequate liquidity of the business. If the liquid ratio happens to be less than 1, this indicates that the business liquidity position is not good. The business will find it difficult to pay the current liabilities on time. If it is less than 1. A, a very high liquid ratio is also not advisable as funds can be more profitably employed. Suppose if a business is keeping 5 is to 1 liquid ratio. That means for every 1 rupee of current liability, 5 units of liquid assets. That is also not advisable. 
it shows that unnecessary unutilized cash is being held the money should not remain idle idle money will not generate any income it will incur cost so we should not keep excessive cash we will keep the cash only that much which is required that's all so this is about quick ratio or liquid ratio the last current the last liquidity ratio is absolute liquid ratio or super quick ratio so it is a ratio of absolute liquid assets to current liabilities so absolute liquid assets to current liability so absolute liquid assets include cash in hand cash at bank and short term investments or marketable securities those investments which can easily be converted into cash at any time without risk so when we can be able to convert the investment into cash easily that is called marketable investment so these three things are included in absolute liquid assets what are the three things first cash in hand second cash in bank third short term investments or temporary investments in other words absolute liquid assets are nothing but cash and cash equivalent nowadays normally we frequently use the term cash and cash equivalent and this cash and cash equivalent includes cash in hand cash at bank at demand deposits and short term marketable securities the formula for absolute liquid ratio is absolute liquid assets by current liabilities and absolute liquid assets is equal to cash in hand plus cash at bank plus marketable securities the standard absolute ratio is 0.5 is to 1 that means the absolute liquid assets should be half than that of current liability for example if your current liabilities are 1 lakh to half of 1 lakh is 50000 so you must have at least 50000 of absolute liquid assets at least 50000 so standard ratio ideal ratio is 0.5 is to 1 if the ratio is below 0.5 then we can say that the liquidity position of the firm is not satisfactory so when we calculate absolute liquid ratio if it happens to be 0.2 0.3 that means the liquidity position is not good the company will find it difficult to make the payment of current liability on time that is the interpretation so the purpose of explaining all these ratios is in examination you will get a problem along with it will ask you to give the comment so if you have watched this video with full concentration definitely you will you can be able to write the interpretation in examination about liquidity ratio so in this video only one topic i have selected about liquidity ratio in the next video i'll explain about the solvency or leverage ratios inshallah we'll continue this in the next video